Well, under the Indian Citizenship Act 1955, there are several options to acquire Indian citizenship. One could acquire citizenship by birth, by, by descent, by registration uh, and by naturalization. But today I'm not going into or getting into the details of the acquisition of Indian citizenship. I have received many messages from my viewers and channel followers uh, regarding the issue of losing an Indian citizenship. So I would be talking about the termination or ceasing to be an Indian citizen, Indian citizen in certain circumstances. Most people are not aware that there are very serious and severe legal provisions under the uh, you know, Indian laws where, whereby an Indian citizen can lose his citizenship. The Citizenship Act lays down three modes or means by which an Indian citizen may lose his citizenship. And these laws have been in existence for decades. These three modes are renunciation, termination and deprivation. The first two modes are quite softer and voluntary kind of provisions. Like Section 8 of the Citizenship Act deals with renunciation. If an adult makes a declaration of renunciation of Indian citizenship, he loses to be an Indian citizen or he loses Indian citizenship. Consequently, any minor child of that person also loses Indian citizenship from the date of renunciation. Though when the child reaches the age of 18, he has the right to have his Indian citizenship restored. Now, termination is contained in Section 9 of the Citizenship Act. The provision states that any citizen of India who by naturalization or registration acquires the citizenship of another country shall automatically cease to be citizen of India. The termination provision differs from the renunciation as it is slightly coercive and reprimanding. Obviously, the, the acquisition of another country's passport is also deemed to be voluntary acquisition of, you know, another country's nationality, leading to the termination of Indian citizenship. Now, before I come to the final most serious provision, I would request all of you to press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Well, the final provision, this is withdrawal or cancellation of the citizenship. Yes, Section 10 of the Citizenship Act brands this provision as deprivation of citizenship. According to this provision uh, of law, the central government by its order can deprive any citizen of India of the citizenship which he got by naturalization or by registration. If the government is satisfied that the registration or certificate of naturalization was obtained by means of fraud, false representation or the concealment of any material fact. Or if government is satisfied that citizen has shown himself by act or speech to be disloyal or disaffected towards the constitution of India. Or the government is satisfied that citizen has during any war in which India may be engaged, unlawfully traded or communicated with an enemy or been engaged in or associated with any business that was to his knowledge carried on in such manner as to assist an enemy in that war. And or in a circumstance where a citizen has within five years after registration or naturalization been sentenced in any country to imprisonment for a term of not less than two years. And finally, there is another circumstance in which the citizenship can be deprived that where you know the citizen has been ordinary ordinarily resident out of India for a continuous period of seven years and during that period has neither been at any time a student of any educational institution in a country outside India or in the service of uh, a government uh, in India or of international organization of which India is a member. So that's a serious provision 
but obviously government has to satisfy itself with regard to these conditions which I just mentioned. So one has to stop taking citizenship for granted and believe me, much stricter provision about termination of citizenship exist in the laws of other nations as well. Thank you.